Okay, guys, let's talk about loop playback. All right, guys, so today is a shorty video, so I'm going to be really quick here. And what I wanted to talk about was loop playback and what to do if it's not working. So first of all, uh, loop playback is my default. That's what I'm usually editing in, and that's just because I like the workflow of being able to highlight something and then being able to hit play, and then when it's done, have it cycle back to the beginning of the highlight section. So um, right now, I am currently in loop playback. And the way you can tell that is if you go up here and you look at the top of the edit window here where it says play, I have this arrow here going back around and that means that I'm currently in loop playback. So that's one way that you can check really quickly to see if you're in loop playback or not. So the example I'm gonna use for this video is just I've isolated just the drums for this session here and there's a transition right here. So I thought it'd be a nice good uh, way to show that loop playback because the difference from the end here to the beginning is it's pretty different. So I'm just gonna hit play so you can hear what I'm talking about. And you can see how when it got to the end of my highlight there, it looped back and then started over right here. So that's what loop playback does. That's what loop playback is. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so we can check and see here if we're in loop playback. Another way that we can actually check is if we go to the options menu, we actually have loop playback as an option right here. So if it's checked off, then you are currently in loop playback. So if it's not checked off, then when you get to the end of a highlight, it's not gonna cycle back and play over again. So let's talk about how we go into and out of loop playback, right? So one way to do that is to go to this options menu and make sure that loop playback is checked off. Since I tend to operate in loop playback, I don't have to do this very often. So I usually just leave this checked off and that's how I go about my day. And a lot of times when I do wanna turn it on, I do just go to the options menu, even though it's a little bit slower, it's cause I don't have to do it very often. So you can make sure it's checked off here. So I'm just gonna click and that's going to deactivate loop playback. And you'll see now I don't have the arrow here. And if I wanna bring it back in, I just click again and now it's active again, right? So the check mark is there and my arrow is right here. So another way to do it is just to do Command and then Shift and then L on your keyboard. Um, so if you look over here where my arrow is, you can see as I hold Command and Shift and then press L, it toggles on and off. So those are two ways to do it. So Command Shift L or checking it off here under the options menu. Another way to do it is you can actually uh, hold Control and that is Control on a Mac. So you hold Control on a Mac and you hit the play button and that will also toggle it on and off. So see how my arrows go in there, in and out, depending on what setting I have. So I'm just holding control and clicking. So that's another way to do that. And then maybe my favorite way to do it, it's the fastest way, in my opinion. If you have a numeric keypad, you can just hit four on the numeric keypad. So I'm gonna move my mouse away here, but check out this arrow here. And I'm just gonna hit four on my numeric keypad. So that's probably the fastest way, I think, to switch in and out of loop playback. So that's loop playback. Um, one thing that I've noticed with my students, one question that I get a lot is they might be in loop playback and they know they've looked and they've checked and they made sure that this is checked off, but for some reason the loop playback is not working. And so usually what that is, is when I go to look at what they have in their session is that they have zoomed way in and they have highlighted a tiny chunk of time. This might be too big, let me try it. Yeah, that's not too big. Um, so basically, if you have highlighted a tiny, tiny chunk of time, this is not going to work, right? And actually, I think I have post roll. Yeah, so I'm going to do a command. If you look over here, these are our pre-roll and post roll flags. And I actually have another video on this topic. Um, so I can put a, a link up top here for you guys to check that out if you're curious. But um, I'm just going to hit command K to deactivate that because this one was orange. So it actually, if you notice, I did this tiny highlight and then the play actually continued until this flag and then it did not repeat because I had a tiny highlight. Um, so basically that's why the playback continued past my, uh, the end of my highlight. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. If you make your time frame highlight for your loop playback and it's a very small time frame, then basically it's it's it might not work, right? The loop playback function might not work. So if you run into that problem and you have a small highlight like this and you hit play expecting it to loop and it does not, basically all you need to do is try a slightly bigger highlight. And that's it. All right, so I think that's about it. Uh, loop playback. 
Uh, we talked about the different ways to activate it, how to spot if it's on or off, and then also, you know, make sure that your highlight is long enough to actually use it. So let me know what you guys think of that. I hope it was useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, please, as usual. And, you know, I do try to think of things that my students tend to ask me a lot and then I will try to make videos out of those topics but if you guys ever have topic suggestions please let me know I'm always open to those so yeah as always uh, if you like this video please like comment subscribe do all those things that YouTube people love I appreciate all that stuff and if you do want to support my channel more directly I do have a patreon so it's patreon.com slash Kato noise and my patrons do get access to additional content so that's it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay. Uh, I do try to come up with topics. I'm just trying to do the outro here, and I keep it up.